short video about my speed graphic, specifically two different ways to get forward tilt out of your speed graphic. And of course this also works for the majority of other models, this line the crown graphic and so on. So first the secret button, which on mine, sometimes it's on the top, on mine it's on the side. Mine for what it's worth, according to the serial number, was manufactured in 1953. So quite a ways into the speed graphic uh, run. So bring that out uh, to the stop here. Uh, that's provided so you can focus at in nowhere, you're focused at infinity. So first the movements that are available to you, you loosen the two knobs on the side, up on the top here, you then have front rise, and then the two knobs at the bottom. You then have back tilt. And that is it. Those are the only two movements available. To get the other uh, movements, uh, forward tilt and front fall, you have to drop the bed, which means you tilt the bed down. So push in like you're going to close up front bed, but tilt it down. That's dropping the bed. So now you can loosen that all the way back and then raise the front standard to the neutral position. Um, tilt the front standard forward and now you can see we have front tilt or forward tilt. And we also have, which is much more useful for landscape uh, photography uh, than back tilt. That the back tilt is also nice for some artistic reasons. Now we also have drop or fall. So we still have some rise and now we have some fall as well. That is the way you can get forward tilt in your speed graphic without doing any modifications. So now we're going to talk about the second way to get forward tilt and that's by modifying your front standard. So first thing we're going to do is take the lens off and we'll just set that aside. Putting down the two tabs, I can pull this out a little bit. And what we need to do is loosen up these all the way. And then you just pull it. Part. Now this is loose, just move it to the back there for safekeeping. And the front standard slides out. There is a nut here on the bottom, and if we just loosen that, we'll be able to turn the standard around. I'm taking the nut off. So this here must be turned around and notice a little tab here that goes in there ordinarily and there is not one on the other side but that's okay we're going to just put that on and this here turns around and then we'll put the nut back on
So now we'll go ahead and put our standard back on, and as you can already see that the tilt is going forward, not backwards. Reassemble. And put our nose back on there. I'll just put on one side and so that is how you get forward tilt on a permanent basis without having to drop the bed. Uh, we'll also need to, if you're going to do this, you also need to tighten up this locking mechanism here because as we spun it around, we also loosened it so it still locks, but it's it needs to be uh, tightened up a little bit. So for whatever reason, you don't want to use the drop bed method of getting the forward tilt. You can permanently turn your standard around to just have forward tilt. You then, of course, lose backward tilt because there's no other way to get backward tilt now. But that's much more useful movement for especially for landscape photographers. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to uh, give it a like. You can give me a comment in the low, especially if you're using speed graphic uh, cameras. Let me know what you're what you're doing with them. All right. Thanks. And have a great day.